Ashley Farrakha for that and gentlemen, America's mighty, mighty party and show band. I'll just take a second here. Uh, now, this is the kind of a thing you want to you want to try and be ahead of. You want to be out in front of because I can't imagine you're not going to hear about this. Uh, and it answers the question. A lot of people say to me, uh, Dave, why don't you ever go anywhere? Mm. The impression people seem to have of me is that I spend my uh, spare time under the house uh, ha handcuffed to a truss. <laughs> Here exactly is why I don't go out. And this happened last night. Paul can back me up if this thing uh, generates litigation. Paul and his lovely wife, yeah. Kathy, will be there to support we me. We will certainly be a witness. And many other friends of ours were there to witness this. So we go to the Billy Crystal premiere of 700 Sundays. Yeah. Well, wonderful outing, wonderful evening, wonderful show. Uh, nine weeks, it's all sold out. Forget about trying to get tickets, but a delightful evening. And you should, you should try and go there. And I know if you have tickets, you will go there. And so Paul Paul and I were there, and we had a great time, except for what happened uh, during uh, the uh, the uh, halftime, the intermission. <sighs> I, so now I know uh, that Regis Philbin is sitting right behind me. Okay. <laughs> and his lovely wife, Joy, who is a delightful woman yes. and the patience of a saint to put up with that moron <laughs> all these years. <laughs> now here... Here's how this works. It, it, it always comes down to, it, it paints me in a bad light, but I'm telling you, I'm completely innocent. I'm entirely innocent okay, here. Okay, what happened? You were sitting right there. What happened? So now I ignore Regis for the first half of the play because I know if I interact with Regis, there's going to be trouble because he can't control himself. We all know that about him. There's something wrong with him, and he's... It, it's like, oh, here, it, it, don't take that lighted match near the dynamite. It's, that's what it's yeah, like. He can't help himself. Oh, you know, here, you want to put out that cigarette in this can of kerosene? You can't, you can't do these things. <laughs> there are certain uh, 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 unbending laws of nature, and, and, and having a conversation with Regis Philbin in public is one of them you don't want to break. <laughs> All right, so I'm so oh hello. I so I don't even look around. I say oh hi Regis. So oh, hi Joy. <laughs> now the uh, the play begins. The one man show, and it's delightful, and uh, everybody's funny, and uh, everything's in a good mood, and it's a wonderful opening night for Billy, and we're all happy and in a good mood to be there. So now uh, there's the crush of people at, at halftime going to the restroom and going up to get snacks and drinks and such like that. And uh, so uh, Regis is now uh, talking to the people around him. And he says, boy, uh, I can hardly wait to see what happens in the second half. That's what Regis says, okay. talking about the play. Yeah. And I, I turned around and I said to him, that's all you have? <laughs> I can hardly wait oh. to see what's happening in the second half. <laughs> really, that's what you really? have to say about the Billy Crystal one-man show. I can hardly wait to see what happens in the second half. <laughs> well, it's not a murder mystery, for one thing. <laughs> it's a delightful reminiscence and a beautiful personal memoir. So now, Regis, it's like the kerosene and the dynamite. Now, Regis is gone. The fuse has been lit. Oh. What do you mean? What's wrong with that? Why can't I say that? I said, oh. I, said, I, said well, I just thought maybe you'd have something a little more thoughtful to say than, boy, I can hardly wait to see what happens in the second half. I can say anything I want. And now, now I hear Joy. She's, now Joy has got her nose out of joint, and she says, yeah, why can't he say that? So I turn around and I say, look, all I was saying was, it, 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 that seems to be, sure, I can say, I'm Regis Feldman. Here, watch this. So now he jumps up out of his seat. He's in the aisle. He's, he's in the aisle. He's, and they, now they flutter the lights, getting ready for the second half to begin. Regis is running up and down the aisle like a monkey. <laughs> running up and down the aisle. Hey, hey. And he, and he, he, he spots in the balcony uh, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar who's in attendance and is referenced in the Billy Crystal uh, 700 Sundays. And uh, at, at first, I thought he was standing, but it turns out he was in the balcony. He was <laughs> not so, so now Regis is, 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 is he uh, heckling Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Hey, Kareem! Hey, Kareem, it's me, Regis! Hey, Kareem! <laughs> My hand to God ushers swarmed Regis. 
<laughs> dragged him out, kicking and screaming. Joy had to pick up her coat, Regis's coat, and her purse. And I've never seen a woman more humiliated in my life. As the play is beginning, Billy Crystal is on stage, ready to start watching these two, um, he doesn't know, scofflaws, ne'er-do-wells, bums, being hustled out of the theater. And that's why I don't go out. Uh, that's why you... <laughs> I mean... Yeah, why can't you say? I can hardly wait to see what happens in the second half. That right there, that's why. That's right, exactly. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back with tonight's top ten list and the lovely Claire Danes, everyone. So